hello friends and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here my name is mandy and i like to talk about nail polish eyeshadows and other makeup panning things today i have an update for the enjoy your eyeshadow project or eyes 2024 so hit the subscribe button and stay tuned Alright, Enjoy Your Eyeshadows, or Eyes, was created by Deb here on YouTube at Deb B, and I will have her linked in the description below. And she created this project. I believe it is a fantastic ladies collab group project as well, but anybody is welcome to join. And it is just a way to use your eyeshadows any way you see fit and um, share them with us in any way you see fit. Have fun and use your eyeshadows, and each month give us your peak and your pit. I am using this project as a way to work through all of my eyeshadow palettes in a no pan left behind style and um, get rid of anything that I end up not liking. And I'm also rotating in singles from a D stash I got of Natasha Denona singles and um yeah that's pretty much it so let's get into it last month i talked about wanting to wear makeup more frequently and i didn't do that so usage is pretty much the same i think i've worn makeup six or seven times since the last update so yeah we're just gonna talk about everything the same way as normal I'm going to start off by telling you the um, palettes I've been working on or the eyeshadows I've been working on and then show you the looks and tell you what I used in them and give you my peek in my pit. So to start with, I have two singles currently in my rotation. They're both from Medusa's Makeup. The first one is their baked eyeshadow in the shade Envy, which is this pretty gold green shimmer. Metallic. And then the other one is in their... Glam Rock Eyeshadow Collection, and it is this guy here, and this is in Rhapsody. It's sort of a brown-red, I think it's a brown base with a red shimmer. Um, really pretty. And then my Natasha Denona singles are in this little magnetic palette from MARC, and I am working on these four shades here. We have this one here with Silver Taupe sort of an orangey terracotta. Um, those are both matte. And then for shimmers, I have this one here, which is sort of a ruddy copper. And then this one, which is a shimmery or matte. Maybe a matte. Uh, I'm not matte. A satin in a really deep blue. And I did name some of them. This one is mink. This one is, I think... What did I name that one? I don't know the names of these actually, so I'm giving them my own names. Ah. That one I named Russet, and this one I named um, Midnight. And I did not come up with a name for the shimmer. Maybe I'll just call it Copper. Um, so working on those, and then I had the I Heart Revolution Mermaid's Heart palette. And that is what that looks like. You'll see it more later. The Ace Beauté Violet Beige. The Revolution Corpse Bride Butterfly Palette. Uh, from BH Cosmetics, the Marvy Corn. And lastly, also from BH Cosmetics, the Galaxy Chic. All right, so those are what I've been working on. Let's talk about what I wore. The first look I wore on um, May 17th, I started with the transition shade from Natasha Denona, which is this one here, Mink. And then I focused on the Mermaid's Heart, Mermaid, yeah, Mermaid, Mermaid's Heart palette. 
I don't know why I always try and get that confused. And I started with, let me hold it this way so I can do it better, uh, shade 1, which is the light yellow, and shade 7, which is the darker yellow, on my lid. And then for shimmers, actually, I think it was shade 8. No, I think it was shade 8. Because for shimmers, I did shade 2, which is this one here, and shade 9. 9. Which was this one. <laughs> so teal and gold were the shimmers in that look. There are those. So I must have been shades 1 and 8. 1 and 8 those were the mattes and those were the shimmers and that's all I wrote down I don't have anything for inner corner or liner so I don't know if I wore any but that's that's what I put down I think that was a non-filming day so I probably did it simple the next one I started with the mermaid heart palette for my transition and I used shades 7 and 8 Yes, I combined these two shades, 7 and 8, and then on the lid, I did 8 and 3, so another teal and gold look, and then for the shimmers, I did number 4, which is this copper, and Moana from my Marvie Corn palette, which is also a teal. And those two right there. So number four, it, it's very close to my skin tone. And then Moana below that. And then for my lower lash line, I did the teal, number eight. And the inner corner, I did a little bit of the light yellow and the copper, number four, and I used a turquoise liner. Okay, the third look I did on the 23rd of May, I started with uh, Natasha Denona Mink again, this guy here. And then on the lid, I went with Russet, which is this orangey cop terracotta sh shade. And I combined that with number eight from the Mermaid's Heart, which again is this teal. I used that one quite a bit this month. And then for the shimmers, I used Moana again and K by, which is the red copper from the Marvy Corp. So I used Moana and K by for a teal and copper look because there are no mattes in here that go with it so that's why I'm using the mattes from the Marbet's Heart. All right and I also paired that with excuse me um for the inner car, um, for the, I also paired that with a turquoise liner and I used the highlighter sheesh right here for my inner corner. And I will give you a swatch of that. And there is sheesh right there. It is just a really pretty champagne highlighter color. All right. The next look was on the 28th of May. And I started that one with the Ace Futé. I went in my transition. I used the shades. Try my best to hold this. The shades Begonia, which is this light pink, and Violet, which is their lighter purple here. I mixed those together for my transition. And then for the lid, I used Violet and Hydrangea, the two purples here. For shimmers, I used a shade, yes, 
I used shade from my Corpse Bride palette that is in for usage in another project. I use this shade here, which is called Spell, sort of a periwinkle color. And did I combine that with anything? Looks like I had that inner corner was Anemone from Ace Butte. So it looks like I did the spell all over for Shimmer and then Anemone on the inner corner. And my lower lash line, I did Midnight the Dark Blue from Natasha Denona. There are the shimmers that spell and Anemone. Very light look. And then I used my black. Oh, I used an okay. I used an enemy on the. I see it now. I used an enemy as a shimmer as well, and then I darkened it up with a little bit of midnight, which I will give you a swatch of. Right. Oh, that's kind of a light swatch, but there it is. That's midnight and spell and an enemy. My handwriting gets all cramped together. Okay, and then the next look was on June 4th, and I started with Mink from Natasha Denona on the lid. For the base, I went with the Corpse Bride shade Betrothed, which is yeah, this bright blue here, and then I darkened the outer corner with Midnight, which I'll see if I can get a darker swatch of it for you. There, that's better. That's Midnight from Natasha Denona. And then for Shimmers, I went with Moana from my Marvie Corn, which is this one here. And then Meteor from the Galaxy Sheet, which is this color here. Sort of a nice icy blue. And in the inner corner, I used Electra from the Galaxy Chic. So the first one, Meteor, is more of an icy teal. And then this is Electra, which is more of an icy blue. And that is what they look like in the pan. This is, this one is Meteor. And this one is Electra. And then lower lash line, I used Midnight. And I used my Electric Blue Liner from LA Girl. LA Color. Whatever. All right. That is everything except for today's look. So <laughs> let's share that and get the lipstick off my teeth. Uh, did I get it? Okay. All right, today's look started with the Natasha Denona palette. I have Mink in my transition. And then I have an Ace Butte. I have Straw Flower um, on the outer half of the lid. And the outer corner darkened up a little bit with Umber. And then on the inner half, of my lid for the base colors, I have uh, shade number three and seven mixed together. These two, the paler yellow and the darker yellow. And then for shimmers, I have shade number 10 um, on the inner half of my lid. And on the outer half, I have the red copper from Natasha Denona, and I swatched it with the wrong hand because I'm switching hands. So those are the shades. Really pretty. And then in my inner corner, I have shade number four from Mermaid's Heart, the copper there. And yes, and lower lash line, I also have umber here, which is more of a dark purple, 
reddish purple versus the the other one uh, I'm lost anyway that is today's look I also combined it with my Kajal black liner so I have met my goal of all of my uses on the mermaid's heart finally the last shade I had to use was that shade number 10 that gold so this one is rolling out for the month I am done meeting my goal on that um, I am going to be rotating out my Natasha Denona singles because I have used each of those at least once. Once. Um, Ace Beauté, I still have Cosmo and Wisteria to use, two shimmers. The Marvicorn, um, I'm still working on trying to hit pan in K by. And I have more usages on Moana. I have usages to meet on Spell, which is that one right there in this palette. And then the Galaxy Chic. I have used four of the shades in here so far. Last month I used Saturn and Mars. And this month I used Meteor and Electra. So I have all the rest of these shades to work on. I do have... Prometheus in another project for a number of uses. So I'll be getting to that. So we're going to be bringing in one new palette and four new singles. But for my peak and my pit this month, I have to say I'm pretty impressed with the shades from Natasha Denona. That is going to be my peak. Um, they are all very lovely. I used the mink quite a few times. It does have a couple of divots in it because I accidentally stuck things in it. Um, the russet color is really nice orangey. Um, this one I'd only used it today, but it is quite a nice color. It is very similar to K-By, um, but really lovely. Um, very richly pigmented. And then I really like the formula on this blue. It is not like the green last month that I had in the last rotation that was very um, a cream to powder formula that was very hard to work with. This is quite nice and builds up to a lovely color. I can, you know, I like it. It's very dark, but also very beautiful. And then for a pit, honestly, I don't think I had a pit this month. Um, if anything, I would have to say my pit is shade number four from here, this coppery shade, because it is it is so similar. I could probably use it as a highlighter. It is so close to my skin tone. Um, actually, I might do that. Um, I swatched it there on the side of my hand, and you can't even see it. Let me... So yeah, it's right there. It is very close to my skin tone, so I might try using it as a highlighter. Um, that might be a nice way to use it. Um, it is still in a project for a number of uses. Um, so maybe I will use it as a highlighter. But otherwise, I am really happy with all of the eyeshadow palettes I have. I have no complaints about any of them. They are very nice, very lovely, and very pigmented. You can see I like my teals and my reddish coppers. And, you know, that seems to be the theme this month um so yeah that's it let me know if you have any questions suggestions feedback um i guess we could give me a second and i will pull my next palette and my four singles okay i am back and i have my four natasha denona singles so i um, have this orange shade this metallic um, shimmer which I compared to the last one and that is the last one I had and this is the new one so it's slightly more orange less red and then this shimmer here which is sort of a silvery pewter which is this one here and then I have this sort of a cool toned yellowy taupe yellowy beige shade so we'll see if you have any suggestions for names of these colors leave them in the comments below and then the palette I'm bringing in to replace the Mermaid Heart is the Hershey's Kisses uh, Cookies and Cream palette. And this is the blue one. That looks 
like that. So I will be having blue looks in the future. All right, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so while you're here. It is free and it means a lot to me. It makes me a day. And until I um, upload my next video, take care of yourselves, stay true to you, and I'll see you later. Bye.